Fish tacos, baby. This one's for you, Troy. I've been saying we're gonna do this for a while, and today we're actually gonna do it. Today we're gonna we're gonna cut up a pike that I absolutely butchered. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because it's gonna get cut into cubes. It's gonna be good. Uh, three main parts to your fish taco: your fish taco sauce, your guacamole, your fish, and I guess your tortilla. But uh, so we're gonna get to mixing up this batch and get at her. Stay tuned. We're gonna start out with a quarter cup of mayonnaise. Quarter cup Greek yogurt. This is all just guideline. Honestly, not measuring a whole lot here. Quarter teaspoon chili powder. Quarter teaspoon cayenne pepper. Chili powder. Cayenne pepper. Tablespoon of lime juice. You can use real lime if you want. I don't care. I'm going to put in some dill. <clears throat> About a half a tablespoon. Or more. I like dill. I'm going to load it up pretty good here. Might be too much, but you can throw in dry stuff too. Not the end of the world. Give her a good mix. Give her a taste. That's pretty good. Yeah, gets a little heat afterwards from the cayenne pepper, the chili powder. It tastes limey and dilly. <clears throat> She's real good, eh? Real good. Next up, we're gonna work on the guacamole. -o. Okay, for guacamole, one avocado. We usually, I shouldn't say that, usually we do a bigger batch, but it's just myself today, so I'm gonna cut it in half. But, but usually it's uh, two avocado, green onion, six tomatoes, a tablespoon of cilantro, some pickle peps, and uh, lime juice, cumin. We're going to go through it. The question always is, is your avocado ripe? And it's <coughs> moment of truth, baby. Ooh, not bad, not bad. Take your avocado, cut her into chunks. I'm not normally the guacamole guy here, but we're gonna struggle bus our way through this. You could also just buy your guac. Nobody's gonna judge you. Disaster, disaster. Ooh, that's kind of some brown stuff there, but. It's gonna be fine. We're gonna make all the dishes. Just give her a rough, rough mashing. Still want some chunks in there. That's what I'm told anyways by the pro, the household pro. Just give her a quick little, little dooley. Still want some texture to it. Hey, cilantro. I like cilantro. 
We're gonna throw a bunch in there. I just like to crunch it up into a little friggin' ball. You can usually chop her up pretty dang good. Boom. Cilantro town. Guacamole, is she gonna be chunky? It's gonna be delicious. Okay. Tomatoes in the bowl. Green onion. We're gonna put the whole thing in. It wasn't a full one. Green onion. Going in the bowl. Eighth of a teaspoon of cumin. A teaspoon of lime juice. Sure. Pickled banana peppers. If you're like us, you buy it by the gallon. So. Roughly a tablespoon. I always get the friggin' stems in there too. We'll just chop that up nice. In the pot. Good. Don't forget, throw in about a teaspoon of juice for my pickled peps. Try not to schlup everywhere. And a pinch of salt. I'm gonna give her a mix up here. How's that treat you? Not bad. Put that aside with your taco mix. We got our fish. We really butchered the hell out of this thing. <laughs> but that's what happens when you're filleting on the ice with cold fingers. So I usually cut it into like, I don't know, half inch cubes. That way you get lots of surface area when you're trying to batter it up. And you get lots of extra crispiness. Generally we do walleye and I would just cut, cut the walleye fillet in half. But this is a little bit wider, so we're just gonna probably cut it into thirds. And same thing. Just rough cut it into smaller pieces. They don't have to be super small, they don't have to be big. I guess if you want, you could keep it as like long strips. If you wanna fill up your taco that way, that's cool. Done. Lots of times too, if you wanna switch it up a little bit, take your fillet, put it in a bag with a little bit of Frank's hot sauce, let it sit for like at least a half hour, and uh, gives it a nice little, little Frankie taste there. Okay, fish is done. We're going to batter this up, and while it's cooking, we're going to work on the coleslaw, which I forgot is a very key part of these fish tacos. I've seen guys put cheese on their tacos. I've seen them put iceberg lettuce on their fish tacos. And I just wanna say that's unacceptable. Unacceptable. Coleslaw or nothing. Okay, we're gonna fry it in a pan. Just add a little bit of oil. Kick the tires, light the fires, and uh, let that oil heat up. We're going to batter up our fish. Now make sure you got a bread bag, preferably it has a small hole in the bottom so that it poofs out a bunch of batter when you're trying to mix it up. It's kind of ideal. And uh, what we do, we use fish crisp. We just use 
regular fish crisp, the key is mixing original with Cajun 50-50. It's not too hot, but still has a little bit of zing to it. So here we got our pre-mix 50-50 batch. I'm gonna throw her in there. Throw in the fish. Never a little certain. Yep, yeah, there's the hole. Big hole, big hole. <coughs> oh, Cajun, Cajun. Hey, give her a good mix. And then I usually use too much batter and I'll run it through like a little strainer. Run it through a strainer, you can sift out any extra batter. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, we're just gonna stir that up in the pan, get some good contact with that little bit of oil in there, and uh, let that fry up. While that's frying, we're going to mix up some coleslaw. Okay, with the coleslaw, we get pretty technical. Just buy your pre-mix. And uh, you're good to go. The dressing, though, is very complicated. Uh, just buy your premix. Give her a stir. There, coleslaw is good to go. We're going to put it aside with the guacamole and the taco sauce. Yeah, just give that fish a little stir and keep on keeping on. Let's talk tortilla shells. Normally we get like regular size ones, but for the last little while, we've been doing up these, uh, the tiny ones. Mini, mini tortillas. I think they're like a six inch, something like that. But they're like the perfect little size. Get your little handheld taco going there. And uh, yeah, it's actually been pretty good. So we're gonna throw some of those on a plate. And I got a piece of paper towel. Just gonna moisten it a little bit. Throw it on top of your tortilla shells. Give her a little uh, sarin wrap. We'll throw it in the microwave so she's ready to go. Before we're ready, we're gonna warm those up like 30 seconds. They're gonna be warm, steamy, soft, deadly. Okay, our fish is done. Throw it in our little container with a little bit of paper towel on the bottom. Just to uh, soak up any last little bit of oil. Tortillas are warmed up. Let's give her a go. Let's get to the building process here. Ooh, hot, hot. Let's start with two. Cover those back up. So I always start with a little bit of taco sauce on the bottom. Just give her a little go. Little taco sauce, just a little bit. Okay, next up, fish. Ooh. I always make a habit of overfilling everything. That way it just doesn't close, falls all over the place. Makes one hell of a mess. Okay, a little bit of guacamole. Throw that on. Ooh. 
Looking good. Looking good. Coleslaw. These are too full already. <laughs> this one's maybe not bad. I like to throw a little bit of extra cilantro just on top, just because it's too good. Some people say it tastes like soap. I do not find that. And don't forget, if you want a little bit of hot sauce, squeeze a little bitty. I like the sriracha. You do you. That's our mix. Jeez, those are full. <laughs> How's that look, eh? <clears throat> There's our taco. It's gonna be tasty. I know you don't wanna see me eat it. I'm gonna do it anyways. You can uh, just you know, look away if you don't want to. Mm hmm That's pretty hard to beat. Honestly, that is really good. Throw that together. What'd that take? It's like 20 minutes, half hour. You're gonna wanna try it. These are deadly. 